Insane Car Payments. Let's have a look. Hello everyone, Florian here and welcome to another episode of Heiser Says. Now I made the mistake of going on Twitter the other day, well actually late earlier today, relaxing after a hard day of work. And, well, let's just say the video I stumbled upon, stumbled upon shocked me. It's just people's stories of their insane car payments. How much they're paying monthly for a car. Not a house, for a car. Now let's jump over to this screen first and have a look at the question, the poll I put to the viewers and we'll refresh it to see. So 127 of you have voted in the 19 minutes it's taken me to get everything sorted tonight. 7% have a car payment and 93% don't. And Let's have a look. Um, Anita had a car payment. Second-hand car market is insane. Sold it for close to what I paid for it two years ago. Bought another car debt-free and pocketed some change. Best thing I ever did. Well, that's fantastic. JK, I wish someone would pay me to use my car. So far, it's only in the other direction. Well, yeah, mate. You can kind of rent something out. A couple buys 18 million property. Yeah, that's not this. I got rid of a car payment. Toyota is 20 years old. This month, when she dies, no more car for me. And Herbert only paid cash for cars. So... uh, Based on this small sample, I imagine a lot of you don't have car payments. I haven't had one for a long time. It really is just throwing money away. But let's, uh, well, let's have a look at this video. Let me get this working here because, well, it's nuts. Hey, sir, what is your car payment? Uh, mine is thirteen twenty-five. And what kind of thirteen twenty-five? Everyone. That's just nuts. I'm going to put the volume down here, so hopefully we don't get an echo. What vehicle is that? It's a 22 Ford Raptor. Okay. You have another payment? I do, actually. My wife's hers is a thousand. Him and his wife over two thousand dollars in car payments every month. This is insane, and this is U.S. dollars. U.S. dollars. It's a 22 Ford Expedition. Perfect. Hey, ma'am. What is your car payment? Thirteen eighty-six. One thing. This is not for a house. This is just for a car. And look at how young these people are. Shit. 1300 bucks for a car. Wow. She, I mean, look at her job. She's in a car dealer. Maybe she, they're making lots of sales and that you can afford it, but damn. And what kind of car requires a $1,386 payment? A 2022 Grand Wagoneer Series 3. So they're all buying... Like brand new cars. So you can drive home, and this is footage from people in a dealership. So you can drive from home to the dealership and have the car sitting in the dealership while you work. Um, I, I mean, if you have a job where you're on the road on sales and you need to drive around, I can understand having an expensive car. But secondhand cars, well, they've gone insane too. Oh boy. Perfect. Hey, sir, what is your car payment? I got a couple of them, but the first one's $14.45. $14.45. USD. Imagine what you could do with that money every month rather than waste it on a car. Where's Dave Ramsey? Someone needs to get Dave Ramsey to help these people because this is just insane. I can't believe it. What kind of car is that? That's a new GMC Sierra 2500 Denali. What's the other one? Uh, it's a wide body CTSV. That's eleven sixty one. Two and a half grand a month in cars, just for him. I, I'm not a car guy. I, I don't care that much about them. I mean, I like the fact that my Kia Carnival has got a V6 engine in it, so it can tow a trailer and take a ton and a half of concrete when I need it. You know, I'd probably like a good Ute, but trailer does the job for me. Hey, sir, what is your car payment? (laughs) Bro, what's your car payment? And what kind of car are you driving? You know, honestly, I was about to make my car payment. I'll even show you. It's kind of funny. Everybody's talking about high payments. Look at that number right there. (laughs) Just insane, guys. 1500 bucks a month. (laughs) 
That's my car payment. Damn. 2021 wide body Hellcat Charger. What's? I, I guess I'm just not in the demo. I don't get it. I don't understand, guys. I explain to me what's going on. So let's jump back. We'll have a look here at the poll results. We'll do an update to see if there have been any changes. There have been a few more of you voting, but now it's 9% say yes and 91% don't have a payment. Um, JK is going, I think most people who watch this channel won't use car loans. Many friends with 100K plus cars have them on $100,000 car. One group frees up their cash flow for other investments. The other group simply cannot afford the car. I have a newish basic practical car, so I don't stress when my kids spill stuff. Otherwise, use buses and rideshare. There you go. There you go. Some good advice. I mean, that, that's also the thing. When you have kids, they destroy everything. Uh, you can't see behind me. Uh, the office here, we, I was doing concreting with Rachel and, and our eldest, and so some of the other kids were playing in here. This place is a minefield. I've got... St- stuff everywhere i've had to walk over train sets they've taken all bits and pieces and thrown it everywhere they just destroy stuff that's just children you know that goes without saying so your car's going to take a beating it's going to take a beating Do you want to get a car that the, you know the kids can't touch is that it boy what's the other comment here you know we'll give jk a heart for that one who buys brand new depreciating assets a lot of people you're not meant to buy new cars in this country. It's houses and apartments. Yep, that's it. That's it, boy. There you go. We'll do it. We'll do another refresh to see how it's all going. But anyway, guys, uh, let's well, let's talk about this. The problem with buying a brand new car is, as they've said, it's a depreciating asset. For most of them, they don't hold their value. I think the fact the second-hand market kind of bumped up was an oddity. We haven't seen that too often. And I, I, I don't know. I mean, those people are all young and dumb. Is that stupid stuff we all make? And is this why Dave Ramsey is telling people in America to just pay off the car, you know, get, sell the car, get rid of it? I mean, when you're spending 2500 a month just on a car, I mean, why wouldn't you take that money and just buy some bloody dividend ETF and forget about it? And then do that for a couple of years, then you can retire that little bit quicker. I, I, I'm not the demo. I don't get it. You tell me. If you're a car guy, let me know in the chat, guys. Anyway, thanks for watching. And again, this outro isn't working. I'll have to fix it. Take care, guys. If you want to support the channel, there are a few ways you can. You can support us via YouTube or Patreon using our referral links or just helping out the channel. Take care, guys, and I'll see you all next time. If you find other little videos like this that you think I might be interested in reacting to, send them through. It's always good. That's another world. I guess I'm not in that world, you know, to drop that much on car payments. I mean, if you can afford it and you write it off as a business expense, go nuts, but damn.